Seasons, greetings friends, it's Pastor Jennings here and we have officially made it to the holiday season. This season means different things for different people, but for us, it means celebrating the miraculous birth of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, but also it means an opportunity to demonstrate the Spirit of Christ through acts of kindness and generosity. The Apostle Paul encourages us in Acts 30 and 5 to remember the words of the Lord Jesus, who said, it is more blessed to give than to receive. Jim Rohn amplifies the words of Jesus by saying, giving is better than receiving because giving starts the receiving process. How does this happen? Luke 6 and 38 says, if you give to others, you will be given a full amount in return. It will be packed down, shaken together, and spilling over into your lap. The way you treat others is the way you will be treated. And it's in that spirit and with that in mind that I want to share with you what is in my heart, what I believe God is calling us as a church to do this holiday season. On Sunday, December the 17th, First Baptist Church Franklin will observe Do Unto Others Sunday, or for short, Do All Sunday. On this Sunday, the families of our church and anyone else who is compelled to partner with us will unite as one family of faith to be a blessing to families in need. While Christmas giving initiatives have historically focused only on children, we recognize that Christmas is not just for children. It's a day for the whole family. The reality is, ladies and gentlemen, that if the kids are without, it's almost always because the parents are without. I believe it's also important to note that not every family that is lacking in resources is in that circumstance due to laziness or being irresponsible. There is a such thing as the working poor. Some people work full time every day and still don't have enough to make ends meet. With that in mind, this Christmas, we want to bless entire families. Now the vision that God gave me is that we would take a quality over quantity approach. That means that we will focus on fewer families so that we can bless the selected families with larger gifts, allowing us to make a greater impact on the families we serve. So what is the ask? In preparation for December 17th, we are asking every family to pray about and discuss as a household what amount your family will share to bless another family. We encourage you to involve the children and share with them the importance and the blessing of putting others first and practicing generosity. You never know. They may even be inspired to sacrifice something from their own wish list for the sake of the cause. Like many of you, I have a family with several children with Christmas lists. So I realize that as with us, this may require some adjusting of plans. However, the value of what we will teach our families by collectively committing to bless another family will far exceed the value of any material gift that we can give them. I pray that God will touch your heart and the heart of your family to join us in this effort. When giving toward this initiative, please write, do unto others or duo, D-U-O, in the memo section. Any of our digital platforms may be used to give. Checks should be made payable to First Baptist Church. And you can be assured that 100% of all monies given for this purpose 
will go directly to the families. And as always, you don't have to wait until the 17th. You can start giving today. In closing, I leave with you the words of the wisest man to ever live, King Solomon. In Proverbs 11 and 25, he says, the generous man is a source of blessing and shall be prosperous and enriched. And he who waters will himself be watered, reaping the generosity he has sown. Friends, God has given us a wonderful opportunity to demonstrate his love and to know the blessing and the joy of generosity. On Sunday, December 17th, let's come together and let's do unto others what we hope that others would do for us. Peace and blessings to you and yours during this holiday season.